It's Valentine's Day here at Norse University Center, and while many are celebrating the holiday with a box of chocolates or a cute card. I don't know, but it's, I, I wasn't thinking of it in like a Valentine's Day context. I feel like it's a little like too much for Valentine's Day. One student group is selling roses, and another took a more interesting route this Valentine's Day. General Pops, one for three dollars or two for five. These anatomically correct delicacies are brought to you by Northwestern Sex Week, a student-run annual awareness drive for sex education around campus. But as the morning progresses, it seems the surrounding booths are getting more attention, with Sigma Chi sucking away precious dollars and resources to the right. And judging from the number of people who have walked past the table, it becomes increasingly apparent how hard it is to sell dicks on a stick. Yes, especially with Norris's older clientele, the edible butts don't seem to be going over as well at this point in the day. But the sellers of the butts say there is one big but about this lack of sales. Doing different panels like this and different tables, it's really slow in the morning because people are, they have early class or they have things to do in the morning or they're sleeping in, if they're lucky. <laughs> um, and a lot of times Norris really picks up around lunchtime when people come in to eat and to meet up with friends and to hang out. And pretty much from lunch on, it kind of stays at a higher capacity until later at night when people start to go back home again and do other things. So a lot of people really start to pick up around lunchtime, closer to like noon. Finally, one brave soul steps forward to purchase a pop. Tamana Patel, a sophomore in Weinberg, is buying the treats to apologize to her roommates, who she kept up last night with her loudness. I decided to buy two of them from my roommates because they're interesting and I thought they would find it funny and they would forgive me for being loud. I think they're going to laugh at them because they're shaped like penises and they're lollipops, little chocolate pops, so I think, yeah, we'll just find it funny, I think. Funny or not, organizers plan to keep up these sort of events throughout Sex Week. Shane McKeon, Medill.